Z Down is a small indie turn-based survival game. The developers say that it's an RPG, while in reality I'm just not too sure. It has a variety of different weapons and items that you can find, but there aren't really any quests. You're just trying to get your band of survivors saved. There are also some roguelike mechanics, as save files overwrite themselves if you die, you die. To sum up the gameplay. You move by right-clicking, you have two moves a turn, you can also attack zombies by right-clicking. You will find locations such as a store or a military outpost and you will be able to put your survivors to search for items. In order to search for items, cut trees or anything similar, you just assign your survivors and repeatedly click next turn. Each survivor has four item slots and two weapon slots. They can have an outfit and a hat plus two accessories. None of this will have a visual representation but will increase their stats. Weapons come in two categories. Ranged weapons need ammo but are better, so you can attack from further away without getting hurt, or melee weapons. When you click to attack, which costs one action point and you get two a turn, your whole group of survivors all attack simultaneously. There's also base building mechanics. You can't really rest or recover at a base, but the base can store a lot of your stuff, so you will want to build one. Positives. The game has enough complexity to be interesting, while still being simple enough to be easy to master. One read through the tutorial was all that I really needed to be able to function in the game world well. Playing the game in general felt like a fairly good experience. Visuals and sounds were adequate. The game seemed well made. Negatives. I felt like I really needed to be nudged in the right direction as the game progressed. I lost my first group of survivors by, by the second group. I was balancing their weapon building material, food and medicine needs fairly well. Unfortunately, it's very easy to get stuck wandering between the locations that you know and looting yourself in order to get even more comfortable while slowly getting bored. I did find military keys or something along those lines while looting one of the military bases, which I would assume is part of one of the escape plans, but that's about it. I found one item at random to do with one of the progression routes. Some will enjoy this approach, it is 100% exploration based and the game doesn't hold your hand at all. For me it's far too easy to just lose focus of the bigger picture and get bored. I have two minor complaints. First, I wish that when I'm scrolling through a menu my game view wouldn't be trying to scroll out as well. Normally you scroll to get the camera closer to your survivors or further away from them, but if I'm trying to scroll down the building menu my camera scrolling at the same time doesn't help. My last complaint is that I wish that I could consume adrenaline without selecting a survivor. Adrenaline gives one action point to your whole group, and I almost threw the item away a few times too often just because I didn't have a specific survivor selected at that time. Overall, if I had to pay for it, I would say that the game is worth its price. For what it's worth, I feel like I had fun with it in my two hours invested into playing it for the purposes of making this review. I just wish that the game was either pushing me into a specific direction or made me feel like there's some sort of urgency to get to locations I haven't been in yet and explore them, as it is far too easy for me to lose focus off the end goal and just get stuck in the route of let's search for food, let's search for bullets, let's search for building materials, build, let's search for food again, until I get bored, which is a never-ending cycle.